Good morning. I wanted to take some time. I know it's not Monday. I'm running a little behind, but I wanted to share this week's classroom power tool. And it's a really easy tool to use because it's just a website and it's photoprompts.tumblr.com. You'll notice that Tumblr doesn't have the E in it, um, but it's a really cool website. It's basically just a collection of photo prompts. So things that you can put up for your students to write about. The great thing about this website is the prompts are really neat things and the kids enjoy them. They think they're really cool and it makes them want to write. So you can see even this first one, it's animated, which makes it super awesome. And it just says, design the ultimate roller coaster. How fun is that? And then as you scroll down, you'll see some of them are videos. So I'm gonna play a little clip of this one. You just received the mystery box and inside you find a roll of duct tape, two tennis rackets, a wiffle ball, a stack of cups, a bag of balloons, and a spool of string. Now invent a sport using at least four of those items. And he goes on to give specific directions and give a little more detail about what they need to do. But my students, we did that one last week and they absolutely loved it and came up with some really cool ideas. So that's encouraging that design thinking and maker um, mindset that they need right now. So very cool prompt. But there are hundreds, if not thousands of these. You can scroll down. I'm gonna show you another one. Um, there are pages after pages. They go on forever. I'm going to show you another one that we did a couple of weeks ago that was really cool. We were talking about multiple perspectives. And so that's the great thing is you can find these prompts that go along with what you're studying. So we were learning about multiple perspectives. And as you can see, when you click on the prompt, it just enlarges it. So you can instantly put it on your projector so that your students can see it. And what I do is when they come in, this is up on the projector, and they just go onto their blog and blog their response. Your students could do that. They could blog. They could um, write on Google Docs. They could also just write about it on paper. So that's a great, um, those are great options for your students to come in and get started as soon as they come in. Um, if you teach high school or middle school, another option is writingprompts.tumblr.com. And it looks like this. And you can see these are just a little more wordy, um, a little more detail. But they're really, really cool and really get the kids thinking. Um, and they're going to enjoy writing about these things because they, um, the pictures are so engaging and they're just really fun topics. So this is just a great tool for you to use. They're already done for you. No work on your part. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy these. If you're already using them and you have suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments section. If you try these and it works and you have some feedback you want to share, do that as well. So you guys have a great day and I will be back next week with another Classroom Power Tool.